Hey, how are you? May God be praised. Hallelujah! Um, yeah, I have no shirt. That's okay. Uh, I usually walk around in my tidy whities anyway, so it's funny. Usually when I make a video, I have to, quote, get dressed. <laughs> but no, um... Yeah, I was in the hospital again, and I just want to kind of give you an update. Um, still have my thing on. Just realized that. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I had pneumonia which was a first for me, and I had IVs and so on. Actually got infected uh, right there. Looks like a heroin addict, but no, I promise. Um, and yeah, I was having blood taken like four times a day having my blood sugar taken, I had to take insulin, and that's because sugar diabetes does run in my family. And with a sickness like pneumonia, your blood sugar can go up. But Saturday, like or early Sunday in the morning, I uh, had to call an ambulance just because I don't have a car. Um, the past 48 hours, I hadn't been feeling good. Um, I woke up like extremely chilly and it was like 72 in my house. Uh, and I took my temperature and it was 103.5. Um, you know, so I took ibuprofen, Tylenol, and also I noticed that when I, uh, breathed in, I can feel some liquid, like in my chest, and, you know, I've had bronchitis and stuff before, um, I, I thought it was, uh, one of my medicines that I take when I was in the other hospital, they substituted with another medicine, and I thought the abrupt uh, stopping of it was uh, making me sick. So I called my psychiatrist and he said, no, not not with a temperature like that. And he urged me to get to the ED, the emergency department, emergency room right away. So, um, you know, I, I called and had the ambulance come, had a little bag packed. Uh, and by then it was 103, uh, which for an adult is high. Um, though I had an uncle once who had like a 108 temperature. Uh, he passed away in 05. Um, not from that, but, uh, I forget what they call that, uh, it's a different kind of illness, but no, um, you know, they did a chest x-ray and everything was confirmed. And so I was treated with uh, IV antibiotics. Um, you know, I was weak and unsteady. So they put an alarm on the bed, which, you know, the hospital beds they can do. So if you get up, it starts beeping. And, uh, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. Or, in my case, a freaking urinal, <laughs> you know, and... Uh, they would insist on being in the room, I'm, and I, I just, I can't do that. 
I am very bladder shy. Just even knowing someone's on the other side or something, I I can't use the bathroom. Um, but, you know, I didn't fall or anything like that. Uh, and, you know, I was on O2. Uh, and I was taking nebulizer treatments four times a day and so on. And, uh, knowing me, just the little mischievousness in me, I, uh, I left the unit before and the security found me in the lobby on the first floor. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they brought me up. Um, yesterday, I almost left AMA against medical advice. I was just kind of tired of it. And, I'm, and I mean, I'm no wimp to pain, but just sleeping with an IV and uh, just the beepings and, and just getting old. And the doctor said that, you know, I just had one more lap to go, so to speak, and, you know, just to stay, you know, it was less than half a day, and very valid, um, and gave me some eardrops, because, I don't know, like, once a year, my, the, the wax in my ears kind of build up, and I can't hear, and they have to be irrigated, so... <laughs> Um, and he said if, if there was an oral medicine that, you know, obviously he'd use it. Uh, but yeah, um, I got out about three o'clock today and I'm feeling better. I'm, I used my cell phone and I couldn't believe I sent a Facebook text because I do not know how to text at all. Well, a tiny bit. You know, I finally figured out how to space, but like going back, I don't know how to do, and it was also all in caps, but anyway, I got the message through because I wouldn't want any of you to worry. It still hurts a tiny bit, you know, when I breathe in, and uh, I, I asked if that was normal, and and the doctor said, yeah, you know, there'd be a little inflammation in my lungs, so. Uh, and no, I'm not diabetic. Uh, not yet. Hopefully never, though it runs in my family, so. Yeah. Uh, so that's what's been going on. So what's been going on with you? All right, thank you for all your love and your support. Praise be to God. I love you all. God bless.